Five Minutes That Can Change Your Eternity A short story from the ancient scriptures. This short story will take about five minutes. We are now in the year 2019. Most people know that we are in 2019, but they do not know why. We are in 2019 because 2019 years ago, time stopped and started again. The reason why time stopped and restarted is important. It was at that moment, according to the ancient scriptures, that God looked down at the earth and saw that everybody in the world had broken his laws. As a result, everybody is lost in their sins and separated from God. So, God decided to come down from heaven to earth to solve this problem. When God came to earth, he came as a human being, a man. He was born into the world just as the rest of us were born. While he was here, he did things on earth that only God can do. He walked on water, he healed every kind of sickness, and he brought dead folk back to life. The most amazing thing that he did whilst he was here was to solve the problem of our sin and of our separation from God. He did this by leading a perfect life. Then he laid his perfect life beside all of our mistakes and sins, and he exchanged them. He gave to us his perfect life, and he carried our broken lives to his grave. In this way, he paid for all of our sins and mistakes with his own blood. Thus, by his own great power, he got victory over death. Then he returned to heaven. In heaven, he has left the gates wide open so that everyone who follows him can enter heaven freely. The only problem is that not everybody chooses to follow him and to enter heaven through the gates. That is why I am telling you this story. When God created the world, there were not yet any people. So God created two persons. Their names were Adam and Eve. They had everything they needed, and they were near to God, as near as two clasped hands. During that time, God gave to them only one rule to obey. Adam and Eve were not to eat the fruit of one certain tree. But they broke that rule and ate fruit from that tree. When they broke the rule, they also broke their friendship with God. They were no longer near to God. Rather, they and God became separated one from another. It is that way for everyone to this day. According to the ancient scriptures, about 2,500 years after Adam and Eve, God called a man named Moses to lead about a million people out of Egypt into a promised land. Along their way through a desert, those people began to do evil things, so God sent poisonous serpents amongst them. Those serpents would bite the people, and many people died. So some of the people ran to Moses and asked him to forgive them and to pray to God for them. God listened to Moses' prayer and said to him, Make a metal serpent and fasten it to a pole. Tell everyone that if someone is bitten by the serpents, and if they will look at the metal serpent, then they will live. But if anyone who is bitten will not look at it, then they will surely die. And that is what happened. Even today, in this city and in most cities of the world, you can see a symbol of a serpent on a pole in front of hospitals, on ambulances, 
and even on doctors' offices. I think that if you and I had been there during Moses' time, we would have looked at the metal serpent on a pole rather than to die of a serpent's bite, wouldn't we? Please say yes or no. If you said yes, that's good, because it will become important later in this story. The following part of this story happened about 1,500 years after the time of Moses, according to the ancient scriptures. One night, a man came walking along the streets on his way to see Jesus Christ. The man's name was Nicodemus. He was a great teacher of God's law. When he came to where Jesus was, he said to him, I know that you came from God because you do things that only God can do. Jesus replied to Nicodemus, No one will see the kingdom of heaven unless he is born again. Nicodemus replied, What? How can a man be born again? After he has grown up, can he enter into his mother and come from her again? So Jesus explained, You are a great teacher, but I have something to teach to you. Your natural body is made of flesh, blood, and water, but things made of spirit are as the wind. You do not know where the wind came from, and you certainly do not know where it is going. That is how it is with those who are born from the spirit. And just as Moses lifted up the metal serpent in the desert, so I too must be lifted up, so that I can give eternal life to everyone who trusts in me. Now, my friend, I know that Jesus loves you and that he is drawing you to himself right now. He does not want you to perish because of your sin. Rather, he wants you to have eternal life. So I would like to ask you two questions. Do you remember those people who were in the desert with Moses, who, when bitten by serpents, looked at the metal serpent on a pole and were saved? Please say yes or no. In the same way, Jesus Christ is inviting you to look to him, to put your trust in him to save you too. My second question is this. Will you say yes or no to Jesus? Please say yes or no. If you said yes, then let's say together a short prayer to confirm what has just now happened. Please repeat after me a short prayer with meaning in your mind. My name is... say your name... I ask you, Jesus Christ, to forgive me all my sins, to come into my life and to save me. I will follow you, Jesus. Amen. I think you know other persons who also need to hear this story. Please tell this story to others or ask them to view this video. Then lead them to say the same prayer. To learn to live your new life, go find a holy Bible in a language that you know well.